When it comes to riding on the gravel, we all know sometimes how rough it can get, how uncomfortable it can get with all the vibrations, the bumps, the cracks, the pothole. But in today's though, I have a brand new product to show you guys, and it's this suspension stem from Redshift Sport. Hey, what's up guys? My name is Charles and welcome back to my cycling YouTube channel. So in this though, we are taking a look at this brand new product that I have been testing for the last month and it's this suspension stem from Redshift Sport. So you guys know a stem is probably one of the most important component on your bike, but it's also where most of the vibration is pretty much transfer from the front of the bike to your upper body. So when it comes to riding gravel or off-road, we all know in the mountain bike world, there's a suspension, usually the fork. But on a gravel bike, you don't want a suspension fork because that's maybe a bit too heavy, too slow, and that's not what you want for riding off-road on a gravel bike. But this company called Redshift Sports came up with this product that I found so innovative that I had to get my hands on and I had to test it for you guys. So this is the stem and I want to show you guys the pivot of it without the bushing inside first. So you see all the range of motion and it's actually incredible how it can affect the riding of the bike. What's great about the stem is you can either have it on the negative side like this or on the positive side like that for a maybe more laid back setup. The design is very similar to a regular stem which looks nice on every bike but the pivot point is around this centerpiece where we can put bushings inside. So the Redshift stem come with five different bushings and these bushings have different durometers, each of them. So the softer one is here, the yellow at 50, 60, 70, 80, and the hardest one is the 90. So depending on how you want to ride your bike, how much soft and squishy or hard and low resistance you want, you can mix and match these bushings inside of the stem. And it's super easy to put the bushing inside. All you need to do is to have some space on the top of it you slide one in inside of it and you slide the other one inside of it and now the bushing is there. So the next step, you take this little stopper, you put it inside at the bottom part and then you tighten everything up until you can't anymore. All right, so now the testing protocol. I'm sure you guys are now very curious about how this stem works and how does it feel. So first of all, we're gonna get a baseline with the regular stem. So right behind me, there are five very deep and big potholes back to back. And we're gonna do a couple times with this stem. We're gonna film in slow motion, show you guys how it works. And after that, we're gonna put the redshift stem at the lowest bushing setting. We're gonna get another baseline with that. And then I'll slowly increase the resistance that goes inside of it and see what works best for me, for my height, for my weight on those very big potholes. So without further ado, let's go straight and rip this bike on the potholes. Now definitely take a look at the shoulder blades. This is definitely where all the vibration is absorbed from my upper body. It really acts like a suspension for me. All right, first round of testing is done. That was pretty freaking rough. Uh, now let's put the redshift stem on and let's see how smoother it can get. In terms of the weight, you can definitely feel by hand that the redshift one is heavier than the original here. It's a bit more, so keep that in mind because uh, it's gonna add some grams to your total build. All right, now we are ready to go test the redshift stem. So first, let me show you the pivot point with the softest bushing. So as you can see, it doesn't require a lot of force to make it move. So let's see how this really adds comfort to the ride. Just by the look of my head, you can definitely see how more relaxed I am. And the shoulder blades, less stress on them. As we can see, the cockpit is absorbing most of the energy. But for my height and weight, the 5060 was maybe too soft, so I think I found the right sweet spot for me with 70 and 80. It's fast, it's stiff, yet also absorb a lot of energy. All right, so now I'm going with the artist setup, so I'm gonna put the 80 and the 90 bushing inside of the stem. This uh, should definitely be stiffer, probably as close as a regular stem, but with just a little bit less vibration. Damn, the bump is so rough that 
I lost the ball. Let's go. We have one more. This artist bushing setup was definitely a bit too much for me at my height and weight, but it's pretty much up to everyone to try out and see what works best for you for the conditions you're riding your bike in. All right. This is it for my testing of the Redshift suspension stem. Now, what do I think about it? What's my review? What's my thoughts on it? Uh, to be honest here, guys, I've been riding the stem for about a month now since the gravel bike season is ready. And I love this thing. I've been uh, totally in love with the fact that it reduces all vibration, it reduces fatigue, it reduces anything that your body encounters throughout the day, mostly the upper body. The days on the gravel bike can be so long. It can be hundreds of kilometers, can be bumpy, sandy, rocks, whatever you're going through with your gravel bike, you're gonna put some upper body strain on you and just having this piece of equipment will reduce pain and then probably makes you go either faster or go longer. Uh, for me, this will live on my bike for the rest of the season, probably the next couple of years. And uh, I'm so a fan that I think next I'm going to try out the Redshift suspension seat post. That's going to be for another video. All right, guys, my name is Charles. If you enjoyed this, please don't forget, leave a thumbs up, subscribe if you aren't already, and I will see you on the road or to the next video.